Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about top 12 features for this tablet. The first feature is about multitasking. So for example, I open one app, for example, I open this internet browser. Now I want to open another app. So what I have to do, I have to just select this app. For example, I want to open this Notion app. I will just select it and I can put it here in this split screen. So I can just put it over here. So now you can see I have two different apps open and I can work on both of these apps together. Now the next thing is I want to open one more app. Okay, so what I have to do is I just have to select it like that and again I can open it in a split screen view. So I can put it over here or here. So I will put it over here like that. Now what I can do is I can change their sizes as well. For example, I want to increase this size like this so I can do it. So I can change it to any size. For example, I can put it over here or I can change the size from here. So if I want to make uh, this internet browser a little bigger size, so I can put it like this. The second thing is I can also rotate them. I can change their position. So what I have to do is I just select these three dots and here you see this option of rotate clockwise. Just select it. So now here you can see I can change their position. And again, if I select, I can again change their position as well. The next thing is you can make your favorite app combination as well. For example, I want to make uh, the favorite app combination for these three apps. Okay, so what I have to do again, I just select these three dots and then here you see this option of star. Okay, the star icon just select it. So here you can add app pair to taskbar, home screen or edge panel. For example, I want to add this add app pair to taskbar. Okay, so now it is added to my taskbar. Now, for example, even if I close it, even if I close everything. Okay, so I will close it and then I go back to home. So here you can see the app pair is available. So now, for example, I am using some other app. For example, I open my gallery, but I don't want it. I want to open my app pair. So simply I just have to select it from here and it will directly open my favorite app combo. The next thing is you can open more apps in pop up view. So you just have to select select the app for example I select this app and then I will drag and I drop here in the middle so here you can see the app is now open so here you can change its size and you can also change its position okay so for example I will put it over here I will reduce its size now you can work on all of these apps as well and now for example you want to open more apps you can easily open them so for example I select this app and then I drag it here in the middle and this app is now open and now for example I can change its position I can put it over here so same way you can open five apps in pop-up view the next thing is you can change the opacity of the pop-up apps so what you have to do is you just select these three dots select this opacity icon and then you can reduce its opacity so now you can see if I reduce its opacity you can see the app behind in the background okay so here you can see you can see the app behind and in the meantime you can also work on your pop-up app the next feature is Samsung Dex so you just have to scroll down this quick panel option and here you see this option of Dex so I will just select it so guys Samsung Dex will give you desktop like experience it's a completely uh, different operating system from Samsung so here you can see you have your apps here and you have your top taskbar available over here now you can open multiple apps at the same time so here you can see I will just select them and I can easily open different apps at the same time and then if you want you can see over here you have this minimize window option so you can minimize them okay so here you can see you can minimize and you can also make them in a pop-up view so here you see this option restore to previous size you can just select it and here you can see now it is in a smaller size so this way you can open multiple apps at the same time so for example I select this in a pop-up view again I select this one so here you can see I have different apps open 
here in the pop-up view the next thing is over here you see these dots you just select them so it's like a start menu and here you have more apps available so you can use the samsung dex feature as well if you want to experience the desktop like features the next feature is edge panel so if i take out this tray you can see i open this edge panel and here i have different apps available so guys this edge panel has a lot of functionality you can use it to open the apps in split screen so for example i open this app the samsung notes and i can easily drag here or this side or at the bottom so for example i will put it over here now again i will use this edge panel and then i can use another app for example i select this internet browser and i open here in a pop-up view so the next thing is in the edge panel we have more options available you just have to scroll like this so here you can see we have more shortcuts available so these live messages if i scroll again so here you can see we can take the screenshot and then if you scroll again we have these more shortcuts you can make a video create new contact add alarm and then if i scroll then here we have temperature panel and then we have uh, this compass panel and then if you want you can use uh, this clipboard panel as well so for example i want to use this clipboard option what i will do i open uh, my notes for example i open a new node and here i want to add something from my clipboard so all i have to do is select this edge panel take it out and for example i want to use this image i will just uh, use it i will just hold it like that and i can drag it into my notes okay so here you can see i can drag it into my notes and later if you want you can also make it bigger and then you can also rotate it you can change its size as well so this edge panel has a lot of functionality you can also edit this edge panel if you want so all you have to do you select this pen option from here and then you have all other apps available so you can add any app to your edge panel for example i want to add this galaxy wearable app i just select it it will be added to my edge panel the next feature is about these widgets so guys there are a lot of widgets available first of all you can directly interact with your widgets so for example i have this spotify widget for example i want to play it i can directly play from here okay play and pause from here and then for example if i want to change uh, to the next track i can just select from here as well the next thing is you can also stack your widget for example i want to stack widget here i just press and hold it like this and here you see this option of create stack just select it once you select it it will open the widget menu for example i want to use this battery okay so i will just select it and then i add it okay so now this widget is added it's stacked so now what i have to do i just scroll it like this and now you can see this is the next widget and this is the first widget you can add multiple widgets in the stack if you want to add more widgets you just press and hold it like this and here is the widget option just selected so here you can see there are a lot of widget option for example like this smart suggestion uh, then we have other widgets for example like this clock we have different clock options available so there are a lot of widgets available the next feature is samsung notes so samsung notes is a pre-installed app in this tablet with all necessary tools for note taking the next thing that i want to mention here is samsung notes has a great interaction with samsung internet browser for example i take out the edge panel i open the samsung internet browser in the split screen now for example i want to use this text in my notes i can directly drag it i will just select it like this and then i press and hold it and i can easily drag it into my notes the other thing is you can also drag images from your gallery as well for example i open this my files folder in the split screen now here i have different images so for example i want to use this image okay so i will just open this image now what i can do i can easily drag this image directly into my notes so i will just use it like this and then here you can see i can easily drag and then if you want you can rotate it you can also change its size okay and you can change its position as well you can also drag your pdf file directly into your notes as well so for example i have these pdf files so for example i want this pdf file into my notes i can just directly 
simply uh, select it like this and you can see I can easily drag it and I put it over here so here is now my PDF file and now if I want I can also do all my annotations if I want to highlight something I can highlight if I want to create some kind of shape I can create some kind of shape and then if you want you can also use your pen as well you can write over here so this is how you can use your PDF file in your Samsung notes as well the next important feature about this tablet is S Pen so guys this S Pen has a lot of functionality you can use it for note taking you can also use it as a remote for taking picture for example I will just press and hold it like this it will turn on the camera and now what I can do I can only uh, use the pen button to take the picture so here you can see I can take the picture now if I want to change uh, to the video mode I will just move it like this and it will move to the video mode and now if I want to record video I will just press it and it will start recording there are other features as well and I explain it in a different video you can have a look the other thing is you can also use it for taking screenshots so for example I want to take the screenshot of this part I will just press it and then move it like this and it will take the screenshot and now if I want I can also edit my picture using the pen option I can use the eraser option the next feature is about PDF annotation so for example if I open my files and here for example I select this PDF file I can annotate my PDF file using Samsung notes so here is the Samsung notes option I just selected so here you can see this is my PDF file now if I want to annotate this PDF file what I have to do I just select this option for edit so here I have all the tools available so here I can write it I can use this highlighter if I want to highlight if I want to draw some kind of shape so I can draw any shape so here you can see it will convert it into neat shape there are other tools also available the next thing is if you want to add pages or delete pages in your PDF file you can also do it you just select this option of page sorter so here you have all your pages available so you can see this PDF has 473 pages so here you can see you can move to any page and now for example I want to add a page I just select these dots over here and here you can see this option of add page so here here you can see I can select any template I just select this normal template and I can add a page into my PDF file same way if you want to delete any kind of page you just select these dots and here you see this delete option you can delete your page as well the next feature is about a screen recording so you can record your lecture for example you have a lecture going on uh, zoom and then for example in the meantime you want to take notes you can just open your notes and you can record your lecture so all you have to do is just bring down this notification panel and here you see this option of screen recorder just select it once you select it here it is showing you different option you can select any option and then start recording and then what you can do whatever you are doing you can record it for example you are doing your note taking and here you have your lecture so everything will be recorded the next thing is you can also turn on the front camera so here is the camera option just select it so here you can see it will turn on on this front camera and then if you want you can also use the pen option from the screen recorder if you want to highlight something in your lecture or if you want to record some important point you can use this pen option in your screen recording so once you finish just select this stop option and then it will be saved into your gallery and then later you can share it as well the next feature is about using different office apps for example powerpoint excel or word so for example i have this powerpoint and then for example i have different slides so i can also use my s pen to move between different slides for example i open the presentation and now what i can do i just press my s pen button to move to the next slide like this okay so here you can see and i again press so it uh, take me to the next slide so I can use my S Pen the next thing that I want to mention here is you can also use a free office which is a web version so you use your internet browser and here you can uh, select this office.com uh, website and once you log in it will show you like this kind of dashboard so here is the dashboard and from here you can select any app for example I want to select this Excel so it will open the Excel for me and here in the Excel I can use 
use all different tools i made a separate video about it how you can use the free office in your tablet you can have a look on it the next feature is eye comfort shield for example if you want to study for longer period you can control the blue light what you have to do just bring down this quick panel option here is the eye comfort shield just press and hold it like this and you can turn it on from here the next thing is you can also adjust the color temperature by yourself from this bar okay so for example i want to increase it so here you can see this is how it changes its color okay by limiting the blue light okay and using the warmer colors so this is the maximum and then for example if you want to read for a longer period you can use this option of eye comfort shield the next feature is the focus mode so for example you want to study so you can customize your tablet according to your study needs so what you have to do is you just scroll down and then here you see this option of modes just select it now here we have different modes option for for example i select this study mode option so once it turned on you can see everything become a grayscale and then it also change the wallpaper and then it also restrict some of the apps now i can only use the apps that are related to my studies for example note taking i can use samsung notes i can use the zoom app i can use the notion so this is how you can use this study mode option if you want to go back to the normal mode what you can do is you can just just bring down this quick panel and then I just turn off this study option if I turn it on everything become normal and you can see I can access all the other apps if you want to customize these mode settings you just have to go to the settings then go into this option of modes and routines just select it once you select it here we have different modes and routine and here you can see I select this study so here in this study you can see you can customize all your study option you can customize the apps you can restrict certain apps and then if you want you can change the setting for grayscale for eye comfort for wallpaper so you can customize your tablet according to your study needs the next feature is about write on calendar so for example i open my calendar i can use my s pen to write anything for a date for example if i want to write i can just use my pen and then for example if you want to add some kind of reminder you can add a reminder if you want to add some kind of birthday so you can also use your pen you can also use the eraser and in the pen we have different pen options available so for example here you can select this pen you can select any color you can change its thickness and then for example if you want to write something you can write here on your calendar so this is how you can use the write on calendar option using your s pen so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much